Hello guys, David here. It is Tuesday evening. It is a hair past a freckle. I don't know what time it is. Time pieces in the house. Let's see what time it is. It is 5.44. Oh, good luck. The Harris-Trump debate starts in 15 minutes. I'm recording it. I'll have to watch it later. Right now, though, I'm bringing to you my first pipe review, tobacco review. Smoking in my California Meerschaum. Well, this baby is starting to color pretty nicely. You can see it. I don't take it when, with me when I go to smoke because I'm afraid I'll drop it. So it's strictly a stain at home pipe. Um, but I'm trying tonight some warped red hunt. I gotta tell you, when you pop the tin, when I pop the tin, this was some really good smelling stuff. If you can see it there. Smells really good to me. Almost a licorice smell, which I absolutely love licorice, black licorice. So uh, anyway, let's see. Let's catch it on fire, as another well-known pipe channel presenter says. Light it on fire? Anyway, let's light my pipe. Got my little clipper lighter. Still going. Haven't had to refill it yet. It is refillable, as you can see there. So far, it's lasting. Have my little evaporative cooler going. So it's uh, more of a challenge to light, but it's worth it because it's really hot. It was really hot today. 108 yesterday and I don't know what the high was today. I think it was 105 or something. Hot. Hmm. I like it. This blend, if you don't know, the description is this vibrant, invigorating combination of red, mahogany, and bright Virginia leaf alongside aged orientals and finely fermented perique offers a full and commanding complexity, sure to rouse your inner adventurer. The hunt is over, but the journey has just begun. It has in it Virginia leaf, perique, and aged orientals, blended by the aficionados Kyle Gallus and Jeremy Reeves. Get their signatures on this. This was given to me by Potter Piper, along with those two other blends, Eight State Burley, and uh, Warped Saint Espresso. Uh, this is the second one I've opened, so the H State really was excellent. I'm liking this too, so far. I know Piper Dave mentioned that he could only taste hot air when he lit this. like it. I don't yet have the refined palate to describe exactly what I like about it, <laughs> but I like it. Hmm. Very enjoyable. I'm going to really enjoy this. So anyway, hope you guys had a good day today. My day was a little different Tuesday. Um, I had to... Uh, Couple days ago, we get an announcement. That the uh, blood uh, we have a local blood bank, Houchin Blood Bank, and they uh, we've given blood there for years. But they were coming to my place of work, so the theory is you can just go out there during your break and donate blood. Now, the good thing about this time was that if you donated blood, they were going to give you two tickets to the Kern County Fair, which is an annual thing that everyone around here goes to. It starts on September the twenty-first. It's always a fun thing to do. You go and see the livestock and buy a corn dog or anything like that, all the different food items. Watch the crazy people on the rides. I used to love the fair when I was a kid. My favorite part, the rides were always pretty expensive, but 
what I could always do is I could always get enough nickels or dimes to play the coin toss. You know, we get all this cheap, junky china out there. Not china, like ceramic bowls and cups and glasses and all that. <laughs> My big thing was to try to win as many of those things as I possibly could. You know, if you toss the coin, whatever your coin landed on and stuck to, you'd get to take that home. So, man, that was so exciting for me. I just loved going there and trying to win miscellaneous pizza, pieces of crappy ceramic dishes. <laughs> I'm sure my, my mom loved me for it. I'd take all my winnings home to her. Of course, if you want anything, you had to carry them around the fair for the rest of the night. So, you know, you got this kid with three glasses and a plate trying to go through lines and get on rides, which wasn't very practical. So <laughs> I don't remember winning all that much, though. So it must have been challenging. <laughs> but, man, I loved the fair when I was a kid. I had a paper out, as I mentioned before, and um, I'd save my money and me and my friend Travis would go to the Kern County Fair usually on a Friday night or a Saturday night. We couldn't go on school night, really, but um, we'd just go to the fair and spend hours just walking around looking at things. I don't think we really could afford to do too many rides, but we'd do it one or two, I remember, and mainly walk around and try to figure out how to get as many plates and bowls and glasses as we possibly could. When you rate this other guy with us, his name was Robert. He wasn't a very good kid. He was ornery and hyperactive and kind of a scoundrel. But we went out there one Saturday night. And his idea was to get Vaseline and put it on the nickels or dimes, whatever it was, we threw into the bowls and plates so they'd stick. Apparently he didn't think about when you won the said treasure, how when they went to dump the coin out, it wouldn't come out because it was stuck with a bunch of glommed up with Vaseline. <laughs> but that never happened. We never did that. That was one of his ideas to get bigger winnings in the coin toss. Dropped my tamper somewhere down here. Let's hope my dog doesn't get it and eat it because she probably will. Oh, I have a makeshift tamper. This one. Can you don't have my tamper, do you? She says no, she doesn't have it, so I guess I'm good. Anyway, all that to say that today they had this blood thing at the blood collection thing for blood donations at my work. So I made an appointment to go at 10 20 this morning, filled out the questionnaire ahead of time, went out there, and the lady said, Well, um, there's about a 30 minute wait, so you do want to wait here. And I said, oh, I'll just go back to my work. And she said, We'll text you when you're turn comes. So I was busy at work, missed the text, went down there. I had to leave work early today for a while. I had to go get my uh, <clears throat> surgery wounds checked again. I've had some sort of infection. Um, and I've had three different antibiotics now to try to get rid of it. Finally, it's getting better, but I had to go to the doctor today and have him check it out. So I sat at the doctor for an hour and a half. Needless to say, I wasn't able to donate blood before all that. So I had Drank a lot of water because, you know, when you donate blood, you want to drink a lot of water, replenish your fluids. Anyway, the lady said, well, if you come back first thing, when you get back from your appointment, I'll make you first in line. So I got back. There was a guy in front of me, so she didn't make me first in line. So I went through all this only to get in there and be told that I couldn't donate because I was an antibiotic. I should have thought about that, but I didn't. But I was very frustrated. So much for my two free Kern County Fair tickets. Down the drain. Boo-hoo. <laughs> oh, well. You know, I like this tobacco a lot. The Red Hunt. Very good. Well, it's almost been 10 minutes. I remembered to use my microphone today. So hopefully you'll be able to hear me above my water feature over there. My fountain. But... I'm trying to think of ideas for a giveaway. I haven't had a giveaway for a long time, so I'm trying to think about what. I'd do probably a pipe and a few tins of tobacco. Now I just have to figure out which pipe and which tins of tobacco. I thought I meant maybe the new, one of the new Savinelli um, St. Nicholas pipes. 
but I'm not sure. I'm still looking. Oh, well. It's been 10 minutes now. You're not supposed to make videos longer than 10 minutes. Anyway, talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.